Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Sequoia Grove News. I'm Jenna Clifton, sharing good news now. We have some exciting adventures and incredible accomplishments for you today. Let's take a look. This month's club spotlight goes to the Poetry Club. Students are invited to come and share their favorite poetry, whether it's poetry that you've written yourself or poetry that inspires you. You're invited to join the Poetry Fun in this Session 6 Club. Upcoming Session 6 Clubs begin March 18th and run through April 19th. Mark those calendars now and get ready to share your LEGO creations and draw inspiration from fellow LEGO enthusiasts in the LEGO Club. Or if the great outdoors and spending time with friends are more your speed, then the Running, Walking, and Wheels Club or the Walking and Talking Club might just be the club for you. It's been a busy season full of exciting events and here are some pictures from the physical fitness testing in Cameron Park. It looks like these students and teachers had way too much fun at this event. And check out the fun our students have been having at the Mendocino Park Days. The Children's Museum of Sonoma County has a mobile museum van that's been bringing enriching fun to park days in this area. Students have learned how to build and launch rockets, how to create parachutes and fly them, and they've had the opportunity to build gravity walls. We're so thankful for the partnership with the Children's Museum of Sonoma County and the enriching experiences they have regularly brought to our students. Let's take a look at some families that have been taking their homeschooling on the road. Fifth grader Rory and seventh grader Tempe regularly take their studies on the go. This animal loving family decided to do some units on zoology and marine biology this year. They've gone on many trips to different zoos, aquariums, and other destinations providing hands-on experiences with animals. Tempe and Rory even had the opportunity to care for Highland cows, feeding them and brushing out their beautiful red hair. This family values learning through experiences and is always looking for ways to take what they're learning and turn it into an adventure. And here's a family making the Monterey Bay Aquarium their classroom for the day. Fifth grader Kiana loved seeing all the sea otters in the wild. She was also very interested in the eggs the Pacific octopus had just laid. And third grader Keaton really enjoyed feeding time in the kelp garden and made sure to utilize the drive home to lecture his family on making sure the fish in their sushi is sustainable. Whether it's learning about giant sequoias at the Calaveras Big Trees Park, learning about animal behavior in captivity as opposed to the wild at Safari West, or enjoying another theater performance like the picture at Wiz Broadway that you see here, the Smith family is always on the go. With a goal to not just read about the world in books, but to experience it in an authentic way, this family has made the world their classroom. I have a feeling the Smiths have many more adventures on the horizon and can't wait to hear about where they go next. This year has been filled with many enriching field trip opportunities. Students recently enjoyed a trip to the Monterey Bay Aquarium and a trip to go skiing and take lessons with their own individual instructors. If you're ready to level up your homeschool experience, then Sequoia Sign Up is your first stop. And now let's take a look at some very exciting things that our students have been up to. Lucas has been showing pigs for five years at the county fair. He spends many hours a day working with pigs, including walking, washing, blow drying, conditioning, cleaning, and feeding the pigs. Lucas recently showed one of his pigs at the Great Western Livestock Show. He was awarded the fourth overall Duroc pig at the show. Last April, Lucas was awarded Reserve Champion Junior Showman at the Revival Livestock Show in Merced. This was accomplished while he had a major injury to his hip. And after this accomplishment, he was transported by ambulance back to Roseville for emergency hip surgery. He's back on his feet now and can't wait to defend his title this coming April. Lucas, your resilience and dedication are inspiring and we will certainly be cheering you on in April. Check out Ruby. She was hesitant to get back on a horse after observing an incident with a stubborn horse. After a three month break, not only is she back at it, but she's even ridden bareback and has mastered skills that she's never achieved before. Ruby's excited to learn more about horses and all animals on the farm. Way to conquer your fears and get back in the saddle, Ruby. Here's Girl Scout Isabella and Cub Scout Keaton delivering some delicious accomplishments. Isabella's been working hard to reach her cookie selling goal and Keaton cooked up some serious competition winning his Cub Scout cake bake. Kean put his baking skills to the test with this elaborate design, complete with camp scenery and constellations adorning the sides. Keep up the great work, Isabella and Keaton. 
Second grader Milana is seven years old and her number one passion in life is dance. She's currently taking classes at the Lakeport School of Dance and she's not taking dance lightly. Milana is enrolled in six classes this semester, including ballet, tap, jazz, musical theater, contemporary, and a ballet jazz combo dance class. Milana's incredible focus, dedication, and drive have helped her excel at dance and dance in higher level classes. Milana says that although it would be amazing to be a famous dancer, her dream is to be a choreographer and teach others to enjoy the art of dancing one day. Keep following your dreams, Milana. 12th grader Micah, 10th grader Cody, and 7th grader Luke have a passion for running. These brothers recently ran the Jed Smith Half Marathon. They all had great finishing times and are earning quite the collection of finishing medals. This was Luke's first half marathon, Micah's second half marathon, and Cody's fourth half marathon. Training for a run like this takes commitment. They each did three solo training runs and one long group run every week leading up to the race. Way to go, Luke, Cody, and Micah. 16-year-old Preston has found his passion in the form of go-kart racing. Preston has been racing go-karts in the United States for three years and competed in Europe this past year. He took part in the WSK events, FIA European Championship events, and the FIA World Championship. When Preston's not behind the wheel, winning races and setting records, you can find him working as a mechanic for other race teams and coaching young drivers. Preston has progressed quickly from competing in a few club races to winning at the national level and competing at the international level where he gets to compete against the best drivers in the world. He has big dreams of becoming the next best American race car driver, and he's on track to do just that. This year, he'll be competing in one of the largest F4 championships in the world. Preston, we'll be here cheering you on. The 434th Battalion, 6th Brigade of the Cadet Corps, had an outstanding performance at the recent Individual Major Awards competition held at Camp San Luis Obispo. And a huge congratulations to both Cadet Sergeant Tanner and Cadet First Class Isabel for their commendable participation. And a special congratulations to Cadet Isabel for her spectacular achievement in winning first place in state IMAs. She competed against cadets from all over the state and her outstanding performance earned her a first place win and trophy for outstanding cadet. Congratulations, Isabel, what a huge accomplishment. At Sequoia Grove News, celebrating students is our very favorite thing, and we look forward to celebrating more students in the next episode coming in April. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.